hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to generate odoo configuration file from terminal in odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 15 community edition we are continuing our odoo 15 development tutorials so in the previous video we have shown you how we can run odoo using terminal so if i go to the pie charm and here i have the terminal of the pie charm and i'm repeating you can do the same thing across all the Odoo versions and from the ubuntu terminal also you don't need to you don't need to have pycharm for performing this thing so here i can see if i click on enter here you can see this is the command that we have used to run the Odoo. that is i have specified the python path initially so this i have to run the following command using this python then i have specified the path to the odoo bin then i have specified aaron's path to mount to this odoo instance and minus r to specify the db user minus w to specify the database password database user password and db host local host db port and the odoo port has been specified and if i click on enter so before clicking the enter if i go to the ui and if i refresh you can see the odoo is not accessible and if i click on enter this command will be getting executed and here you can see odoo is running on 8055 and if i go to the ui you can see the refresh and you can see the odoo is accessible so we already have learned how to run odoo from terminal or command line so in this video we will be showing you how to generate a configuration file for odoo so currently if i go to the pycharm and here we have already two configuration file which i have created by copying manually from odoo source code so inside odoo source code we have an odoo folder sorry odoo folder we have a debian folder so initially what i have done is i have taken a copy from here to create this configuration file so we have another option to generate the configuration file from the terminal so let's see how we can do that so let's assume a case where you have to create a configuration file a new configuration file and let's see how we can achieve that using the terminal so here we have the terminal and finally what i will be doing is that i'll be creating a new configuration file inside this con folder so i'll take the command so let me clear the log first so it will be a little more neat so i'll type the clear command in order to remove all these clear and what i'll do here i have the auto command line so along with this option i will add stop after init that is it has to stop after initialization stop after init then what i have to do minus s minus s to save this configuration and i'll specify a path so i'll take path to this configuration file control v and inside conf i'll create a new file i'll name it as odotest.conf here i'm giving a new path so currently inside conf we don't have such a file or test.conf so i'm saying to the system it has to stop after initialization and minus s for saving to this configuration so if i click on enter you can see the server has been initiated and it has been stopped and if you check the configuration file so it may take a little time so for the pycharm to synchronize and if i just close and open it you can see odoo test.conf has been generated so here you can see we have given the name as odoo test.conf and here you have a new file and if you open that you can see it comes with all the variables so here you can see you have aaron's path which you have specified over here aaron's path home dev odoo 15 add-ons and custom add-ons yeah it's coming here and if you scroll down db host is local host db password is odoo db user odoo 15 db user you have specified odoo 15 it is coming here then what else http port 8055 you can see the http port 8055 is coming here with few extra parameters so you don't need to worry about those things now so we have successfully generated a file 
now let's assume we have to update a file so we have right now we have shown how to create a new file now let's assume we have to update a file so instead of i have changed the port here 8055 instead of 8055 i need to run to 8065 so i'll simply change here to 8065 and stop after init minus s i need to save to this file to this existing file so i have already this file in this path so instead of creating a new file it will update the existing file so if i click on enter you can see it has been initialized and it has been stopped and let's wait maybe pycharm will take some time to synchronize this so if i close this and if i open auto test you can see here it's changed to 8065 so this is how you can generate a configuration odoo configuration file from odoo cli just python path odoo bin enter your all the arguments Ardent's path minus r for db user minus w for password you have to specify the db host db port minus p and specify the port number top after init minus s to save minus c which file you need to save or create so this is how you can run or how you can generate a odoo configuration file from terminal so i hope you understood this video if you like the video please do click the like button and subscribe the channel so that you won't miss any videos from odoo meets so if you have any queries feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to share with us as a comment or you can reach us over the email at odoo and feel free to connect us in the social medias like linkedin facebook twitter and instagram so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you